This is the Battle of Waterloo, 1815, using the Command and Colours board game rules and incorporating a scenario uh, by a bullfrog. Here we can see the battlefield laid out using the hexagonal board game uh, base. Here we see the French right flank with Plants Noir in the background and the main highway through the middle. Um, here's the French central position and here's the French left flank and we can just see the Chateau of Hougamont there in the foreground. Um, this is the Anglo-Allied left flank with La Haye Sainte in the centre uh, and this is the British central position on the main ridge and here we have a close up of a Dutch Belgian line infantry unit an example of a British heavy cavalry unit these being the Scots Greys this is the French line artillery battery and again an example of a French light infantry formation and the French get their attack underway um, as the historical battle by attacking the chateau at, at Hougamont um, with the French central position advancing immediately as well. Here we can see some close-up hand-to-hand -hand combat with the French trying to get the Anglo-Allied forces out of the the woods in and around Hougamont. And the French advancing rapidly on the farmhouse at La Haye Sainte. Here they are firing on the on the position and the troops inside the farmhouse. And we've got the French artillery joining in the bombardment as well. French are going to try and get into uh, Le Hassant quite uh, quite quickly. And here you can see that they've assaulted and do manage to break into the farmhouse almost immediately but the British and uh, and allies counterattack and manage to to push them back out the French also are attacking Hougamont at the same time and here we see a British light infantry battalion retaking La Hassant and moving back in to the farmhouse French now try to move around the flank of Hougamont after their direct assault fails for the first time and we have the French central position beginning to, to move forward in support as well. French pushing up quite heavily towards La Haye Sainte again in her second attempt to break in and here we see the French have actually managed to take Hougamont for the first time. This is something that the Allies need to retake as quickly as possible so they don't have too many reinforcements that it can call upon uh, to get down there in time. And here we can see the British moving up in support of La Haye Sainte. And the French cavalry push round the side of Hougamont in an attempt to get up onto the main ridge line but it doesn't stop the British forcing their way back in and pushing the French out, retaking uh, Hougamont. Plenty of French heavy cavalry now moving up in the centre. And we now get the French right wing is beginning to advance in anticipation of the Prussians beginning to arrive quite soon. 
and here they come they start uh, arriving on the left flank of the Anglo-Allied position. French cavalry try to assault uh, the British ridge line. They manage to disrupt and destroy a couple of units but uh, they themselves in turn are charged and attacked and then destroyed by the, the British heavy cavalry themselves. We get some uh, cavalry charges and counter charges going on around La Haysant. Uh, the French having to form square to avoid being ridden down by some Dutch Belgian cavalry. And the British cavalry on the ridge managed to push the French back down into the central valley. Uh, there are still some more French cavalry that managed to make a nuisance of themselves along the ridge and take out a couple of artillery batteries and some extra French light cavalry moves up in support. British move up some more reinforcements on the ridge to strengthen their position. And here you can see one of the action dice in action. And the British actually then move down into the valley and start attacking some of the French artillery batteries. And then one of the last French cavalry units is swept away back off the ridge by a combined attack of French as uh, British heavy cavalry. Here we can see more French units moving up. Time is beginning to run out for the French. They've got to start taking a couple of these farmer houses and and holding them. And here we see a couple of French dense columns moving up. French attack on the right flank is uh, beginning to build momentum. They want to get into action before the Prussians are ready to intervene. And the French player moves some of his forces over to stop the Prussians joining the main action. French cavalry still moving around the flank of La Haussant, trying to set up uh, another French assault on the farmhouse and British cavalry still engaged with the French cavalry in the in the valley. In an attempt to slow the French down the British send some of their heavy cavalry to see if they can pick off a few infantry units or force them into square um, to stop them from attacking Hougamont as time begins to wind down and here we see some more cavalry charging and counter charging. Uh, the French Imperial Guard begin to move up they're getting, getting ready to assault La Haysant in an attempt to take the farmhouse finally and the British start reorganising their defences to meet what will be the last French assault. French moving up again on Hougamont to win the game they really do need to take both uh, the farmhouse at La Haysant and the chateau at Hougamont so they begin to bring forward all of their forces and start putting the British position under quite a lot of heavy pressure and the British respond just by bringing up the last of their cavalry reserves to defend the two positions. Uh, the French do actually now manage to break into La Haysant and take the farmhouse and they begin to press towards Hougamont as well in an attempt to win the battle in the last couple of game turns. The French now bring up just about everything they can and here we see the Prussians beginning to come into action on the Allied left flank. Here we see some uh, Uhlans moving into position. 
French now throwing everything that they've got at Hougamont in an attempt to take the Chateau and win the game. British attempt to retake La Haye Saint, but unfortunately don't have enough troops available to do it and are held off. And unfortunately for the Allies, the French managed to break into Hougamont once more. But the British counterattack quickly and save the day. And the game is eventually declared a draw, uh, which is probably a fair result.